Monsieur le Président du Sénat, et même par sa parole. Thank you, Mr. President, for giving me the opportunity to pose uh, some questions to the Minister of Finance here present. We are talking about uh, budgetary orientation debate. Mr. Minister, I listened to you with rapt attention during your analysis. And uh, certain aspects struck my reasoning. If one looks at the economic growth rate of our country, you will notice a continuous fall. We keep seeing the economic growth rate falling instead of rising, that is what is found in the report before us. It is embarrassing for a very rich country like Cameroon to be experiencing continuous economic growth fall instead of increase. And as these things are happening, this fall is happening, there is a steady rise in inflation in the country. Mr. Minister, I also gather that you based your argument on the poor economic situation which has caused an increase in prices due to the Russo-Ukrainian war. So, Mr. Minister, are you telling us that uh, the Russo-Ukrainian war exposed Cameroon's unpreparedness? Are you saying that you didn't know the adverse economic effects of over-reliance on the resources of another country to the sustenance of your own economy? Why would the Russo-Ukrainian war be an embarrassment to us? Why would it impede Cameroon's economic growth. Mr. Minister, this is Cameroon, and this country is very rich in resources. If we look carefully around, we have potential economic resources that can boost Cameroon's economy, but these resources have been left to lie idle or abandoned while the country suffers in economic crackpile. We are suffering from electricity shortage or outages in Cameroon, whereas we have the natural fall left itself. This fall has the propensity and capacity to generate very high megawatts of electricity which can be exported to other countries and make good Cameroon's economy. It is not done. Here we are today, complaining and crying of a fall in the economy. We are complaining about the so Ukrainian war. Let them fight their war the number of years they want to fight. Are they fighting Cameroon? Cameroon is supposed to take care of its own resources by developing its own economic resources that can sustain its economy. We have not done our work well. We have allowed those areas to lie idle. Mr. Minister, we have large expanse of land in Cameroon on which wheat can be grown to produce great quantity of flour to boost the production of bread and other foodstuff on which Cameroon relies and bring down prices. It is not done. Whereas Cameroon enjoys very rich agricultural soils. Why don't we carry out these macroeconomic aspects by developing plantation agriculture on aspects like wheat. Again, Mr. Minister,
Minister, I wonder why we still allow the deep sea port in Limbe not developed. It will enhance a lot of employment, increase the fishing productivity, and give our country a much booster in the foreign exchange trade. This area is abandoned. And here we are complaining and calling the Russo Ukrainian war. Cameroon macroeconomic experts have to go to work and check which area was supposed to be touched and developed for Cameroon's greatness and productivity. The Minister, these are some of the areas I thought I could pick up from what you were saying and put before you so that you can deliberate on with your entourage of economic experts. Mr. President, thank you for the time given. <coughs> thank you very much, Senator. And now,